Hey guys, Big Hoss 762 here. Uh, out here at the range today, playing with uh, this AK. I not quite done with. It's kind of a work in progress, but uh, as you can see, I got Magpul furniture on it. Just put that on, and uh, on top of that, got a Krebs. I believe that's the Mark VI enhanced safety lever, and also AOG Defense AKT fire control group in there um, I haven't shot it yet with the safety lever or the the new trigger so that's what I'm doing out here today um, I'm trying it out and uh, I still have some more stuff I want to get for this gun but you know as the budget allows so this is kind of a work in progress um, by the way if you're interested in uh, maybe uh, these kind of build-ups and like following along as I do them instead of just seeing the end result you know let me know and I can do that because I have plenty of other guns I'm gonna be working on here in the future nothing fancy no gunsmithing or anything like that just a uh, regular bolt-on stuff but I mean if you want to watch that whole process let me know I can document that or otherwise I'll just uh, you know do it off camera and I'll show you the end result um, you know, this is all pretty standard stuff. Magpul Zukov stock, Magpul Zukov handguard. Uh, you know, vert grip there with the M-lock. Uh, this is the rubber overmolded grip. I have just basic polymer one on my AR, and I think I prefer the regular polymer one to the rubber one. But, you know, not a huge, not by much, not a huge deal. So anyway, uh, oh. One other mod I've done to this so far, I don't know if that's picking up, but uh, I took a triangle file and I opened up the rear sight just a little bit. It lets me pick up the front sight a little faster. I also put some white out on the front sight. I'm not sure if that's going to show up. But I uh, opened it up just a little bit, um, not all the way to the bottom of the notch, but you know, just enough that I can pick up my front sight a little quicker doesn't really uh, decrease the uh, my ability to you know get a nice precise shot or but uh, yeah it helps me pick it up a little quicker um, probably as good as any aftermarket site you're gonna get is to just run a triangle file through there and open it up a little bit but yeah I shot it once with the the stock and just the handguard before I got the vert grip and I'm liking the furniture it's nice, this uh, handguard, you know, lets you get out here a little further. Um, I plan on mounting a light and a sling on here, so that gives me a little extra real estate to uh, run the vertical grip light out in front. Sorry, light out, get out of frame. But it gives me a little extra room to run the vertical grip, have the light out in front, you know. Um, wasn't hard to install, there's videos of that online. Uh, you do have to cut your hanger, your front hanger retainer off, or I mean, if you want to knock out the pins on your front sight and gas block there, you could go that route. But it's a lot of work, and uh, they, if you do ever change your mind, they make clamp-on mounts or clamp-on handguard retainers. Back when they were importing Saigas, and those were real popular. Those conversions, those didn't have a typical front handguard retainer, so they make. There are companies out there that make clamp-on units if you ever decide that you know you want to go back to a, a traditional handguard or whatever. But uh, yeah, so so far I'm liking it. I've only shot it once like the uh, like this, except I didn't have the vert grip on there. I didn't have the trigger. So uh, let's get in here and do some shooting. It's not very far. I'm just this is quick first shots, and I might move back up here in a little bit and. Uh, See if I can get a, a grouping. But uh, this is just my first trying out the trigger and everything. So, all right, guys, uh, got some brown bear 762 by 39. Uh, gonna run through the AK here. All right, so let's try out this uh, trigger here.
Alrighty, I am digging it. I am really liking this trigger. It's, uh, you know, got just enough, not too light, but definitely light enough. Um, really nice. I am digging it. I am really digging it. Um, so let's load up some more. Try it out. All right, guys. So we backed up where this range is supposed to be 50 yards. Uh, I have no way to confirm that for sure. But, uh, you know, it looks to be about 50 yards. Maybe a hair under from exactly where I'm standing to exactly where the target is. I just have a life-size paper bad guy target. Um, and then I also have some uh, Golden Bear ammo. It's a steel case, but it's got a, a brass coating on the casing. But uh, it's just cheap. Whatever run-of-the-mill cheap stuff, you know. Um, so anyway, take a few shots. See how it does. I'm not going to try and shoot it off a of rest or anything, but just, uh, you know, see how it does from, from 50 yards. Going to aim mostly at his head. see what we got I am kind of rushing it it's a little hot out here anyway love the AKT trigger love the crib safety rail love the MOE furniture the Magpul furniture the Zukov folding stock and everything uh, two last things I wanted to point out. First of all, another reason I wanted the Zukov handguard is because, like I said, I do want to run. I did want to run a vert grip. However, I'm gonna unfold this. If you have a standard length handguard, well, you might be able to do it, but uh, oh, you wouldn't be able to do it thumbs forward. This. The Zukov handguard allows me to run the, the vert grip a little bit farther forward, and here's the cool thing. It does not get in the way of putting the magazine in the gun, out of the gun. It's far enough forward, it's out of the way of that. And also, here's another cool thing. I didn't come up with this idea, but uh, I saw it somewhere online. So as I was saying, I didn't come up with this idea on my own. I saw it somewhere, but uh, this is a gun folded. This is a tennis racket bag. I got this for $5 at a thrift store, and it fits in there pretty nicely. Um, you know, and you would think, okay, that's pretty discreet. On the other hand, a guy as fat as me carrying one of these around with a range bag and everything, people are going to figure it out. Um, the other day at my apartment building, when I was putting on the furniture and everything, I needed some tools. I keep most of my tools out in my truck. And I needed an Allen wrench for the pistol grip. So I put this thing in the bag. The sun's already gone down. It's, it's getting dark. And I walk out to my truck with this thing in the bag, right? Walk right by a couple folks out there. You know, Wilson tennis racket bag, fat guy, it's dark. You know, they didn't even give it a second thought. Most, most people do not care enough about what you're doing to, uh, you know, pick apart what, what kind of bag you're carrying or anything like that. They just don't care. They don't care enough to you know, uh, look at your bag and everything. Now maybe a criminal might, you know, I don't know, he might uh, see a tennis racket bag and be like, hey, a tennis racket, those are worth some money, aren't they? You know, so, but it's more discreet than an AK, you know? So that's a discreet method of carrying. It doesn't freak people out. 
It doesn't freak out my neighbors. I live in an apartment, so it doesn't freak them out. Um, you know, and I haven't tried it. Let me try this. So here it is, 30 round magazine. Let's see. All right, good news, it does fit with a 30 round magazine. 40 rounder probably won't work. You know, I don't know, maybe, maybe not. But it does fit with a 30 rounder, so 